Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to make flourless, grain-free chocolate chip cookies. And these cookies are amazing. They only have seven ingredients, including the chocolate chips, and they don't have any refined sugar and no flour whatsoever. So we're going to be making these with some nut butter. So today I'm going to be using some almond butter, but you can use any kind of nut butter you want. Cashew butter works really well. You can also use walnut butter. You can even use peanut butter if you want to use that. And we're going to be adding in a third of a cup of maple sugar. And I've gone ahead and run that through my sifter just to make it really fine. Um, but you can just use it straight out of the package as well. We've got one egg that we're going to be using. And I have one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And I have one teaspoon of baking soda. And we have a little bit of sea salt. This is about a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. And that is all that goes into our cookies. So we're gonna go ahead and use our sand mixer and get that blended together. I always like to take a little pause in the middle of the mixing just to scrape down the sides, make sure everything is getting combined. And sometimes the oil separates from the nut butter a little bit, but that's okay. You just need to mix it a little bit more and it'll get that perfectly combined for you. All right, our cookies are combined, and now we have to do the fun part of folding in our chocolate chips. So just make sure you get all your cookie mix off of your little mixer here, and we're gonna go ahead and take our chocolate chips. So this is one cup of chocolate chips, and instead of using the mixer for this, you're just gonna go ahead and fold them in, and that is it. Once these get combined, we can start prepping these and turning these into our cookies. To shape our cookies, it's very simple. You're just gonna use your hands and you're just gonna pull out a little bit of the mix. And I like to just roll it into a little bit of a ball in my hand just to get it a nice round shape. And then just place it on your cookie sheet. I like to press them down a little bit. They should flatten down as they're baking as well, but I like them to be a little more kind of wide and chewy instead of tall and fluffy. So that's just a personal preference, but you can make them however you'd like. And so we're just gonna go ahead and work with all our cookies here and place them on our cookie sheet. And once your cookies are laid out on the cookie sheet, I like to use a little bit of sea salt to give them a little bit extra crunch on the top and a little extra sea salt flavor. So we're just going to take some of this chunky sea salt, just sprinkle a little bit on the top of each cookie, and they will be ready to go into the oven. Our cookies will go in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 to 13 minutes, and then you can pull them out and set them on a cooling rack. And our cookies are out of the oven and ready to enjoy. I've had them sitting on the cooling rack for about 10 minutes now to cool off and they're ready to dive in. I highly recommend enjoying them with a glass of nut milk, a chai latte, a nice warm tea, anything that you enjoy with your cookies. So let's dive in, let's see how these turned out. Mmm, so good. They're almost a guilt-free trip with all the nut butter. Such a small amount of sugar but the perfect amount of sweet. And using that nut butter keeps them so moist and chewy inside, so these are absolutely delicious. I think you're gonna love them. You can get the recipe on my website, thetrailtohealth.com, and you can find more delicious recipes in my cookbook, Wandering Palette, as well. I hope you enjoy the recipe.